We're in one of the main streets of Herson and you can see here how deep the water is here. People have inflatable dinghies and boats and that's the way they're rescuing people. President Zelensky said that tens of thousands of residents have been isolated by these floods after that dam blew up. And what we're seeing at this point here is people going out and rescuing people, but also animals. Uh, we're seeing cages full of cats. We're seeing dogs getting rescued. Uh, we're hearing stories too of people having quite horrific nights on that first night of having floodwaters so high that they had to wait on their roofs. Some even had to wait in trees to be rescued. Now the people here are doing a great job of ferrying people out of their apartments and their homes and rescuing their pets as well. And if you look here, you can see one of the pieces of equipment that they're using to rescue people. It's like one of those aqueducts with massive tires and it's ploughing through the water and the local rescue workers here are using to get in and out of this water because this water is filthy. As you can imagine, it's got all kinds of things in it. And they're also really worried about mines. They're worried about mines that may have been laid around the actual uh, dam that they may have drifted into residential areas. So they're being very careful about what kind of equipment that they're using to rescue people. But this is something we're seeing back and forth, back and forth, either little dinghies being used here or that big kind of aqueduct to use to help rescue people. And you can hear them on that loud hailer too. You suspect that they're probably telling people, we're, come here, we're coming here to rescue you. If you want to come down, we'll get you. They're probably putting the call out to people who might be a bit old, might be a bit sick, that they'll go in there and they'll get them out.